Hi there, I'm Buddha and you're watching Dr. Guitar, a show for all you guitarists out there. In today's episode, I'm showing you and talking about the importance of mic placement. Setting a microphone in front of your amp makes a huge difference for tone, for the tone you get up front or in your recordings. And this is something that a lot of guitar players neglect, even the professional ones. So they care about their guitar, their strings, their amps, their pedals, their cables, but then they forget the sound that is recorded or set up in front for a show is dependent on the mic placement. I'm not even talking about the mic, I'm just talking about the mic placement. But first of all, let me thank my dear patrons for supporting the show. And if you want to become a patron, you just go to the link. It's super simple, you'll be getting early access to episodes, free video lessons every week, and a free backing track every month. And of course, my huge thank you. You can also contribute to the tip chart on PayPal, and if you're interested in guitar lessons with me, just send me an email or a direct message via Instagram or Facebook, and we'll deal with it from there. Also, please visit my reverb.com store, where I have some of the gear I review here in the show, but I can't afford to keep. And if you'd like to help the channel too, please consider to go to the affiliate links. There are links for products that I use here in the show. And if you buy from them, Amazon will give me a small commission and it's helping the channel. Let's go. Doctor guitar. Okay, so what is mic placement? Basically, placing a microphone in front of a speaker is like changing the tonality of your amp drastically. What I'll do here is I'll record a loop to my M9, Line 6 M9 looper section, and I'll let it play while I move the microphone in front of the speaker, and we talk in a few seconds. <laughs> Okay, now watch me move the microphone in front of the speaker. I have it on this mic stand. This is an amp clamp mic stand that really enables it to be easier. But it's now set to the front of the speaker, to the middle of the speaker. So here, how it changes the tone. <laughs> So basically what's happening, if we have a speaker, we have the dust cap in the center and the center of the speaker is the brightest setting of a speaker. It's where the microphone will sound at its brightest level, but it's also where it has less reflections, because if you point it in other direction, you'll be getting different sounds from different spots. So you'll be getting a sound from here, from this spot here, and then the sound from this spot here is a little late. So you'll get some phase cancellation, which means you'll get different tones out of it. And if we get it in the center of the speaker, we get the most balance of the whole, the whole speaker. But we're also getting the brightest setting because it's the middle of the speaker. 
there's also a thing called proximity effect. The closest you have to the center of the, the speaker, or to any source, any sound source, the microphone being a cardioid microphone, like a Shure SM57 I'm using here, the most used microphone ever. Uh, if you get it too close to a source, it will get bass increments. So it will, it will augment the bass response. It will sound bigger and bassier. Uh, and as opposite, if you move it far from the source, it will lose bass. So that's a way to EQ your source. I like to leave two fingers, two of my fingers, of space between the grill cloth and the, the SM57. But sometimes you can move it closer if it is too bright, even not changing the placement, just getting it closer. Or if it is too woofy and dull, you get it backwards. I'll show it in a minute with the same sound example. How does it affect? And let me show you the inside of the speaker. I usually use a flashlight like this. Uh, or the light on my cell phone works too. So we can see where the speaker is. I hope you can see it here. So we're basically pointing towards the zone I really prefer, which is pointing at where the dust cap meets the cone. It's where it's at the least, uh, it's where it's more balanced. But let me just set it exactly in the middle. I'll prove it that there's phase cancellation by moving the mic you will hear kind of a phase effect going on. <laughs> I'm sure you weren't expecting this. So now, let me show you my technique for fast miking guitars. And it's usually where the dust cap meets the cone. So if you look inside your amp with a flashlight, there's kind of a ball in the middle. That's the center center will be the brightest place of the amp. But if you get it, where the dust cap meets the cone, it, it gets really uh, balanced because it gets fatter and not as bright. But it depends because, for example, if we change microphones, and this is another very famous guitar microphone. If we change microphones, it, it changed a lot. For this mic, it took me a long time to figure out where to set it. Let me show you how it sounds like that. <laughs> And now let's place this mic. This mic has a great advantage because you can leave it on top of the amp and you don't need uh, a mic stand. So it, it's, it makes it easy and you don't have anything to bump in. But it only sounds good to me if it is dead center. And that's what took me a long time to figure out. So the thing is, put the cable on top of the amp give it a turn so it doesn't fall up and then I usually leave this mic clamp here because it, it will help me to to use the mic in the direction so you can see it's tilted so what I'll do is I'll set the my clamp to adjust the tilting and now let's check it yeah that center let's hear it okay you just heard it there's a difference, of course there's a difference. And they sound completely different. Let's compare both back to back. So you hear just a difference on mic and mic placement, okay? Well, I think 
it's clear now that the difference is huge. So don't you ever neglect the mic positioning and the mic placement on your amp. You will have a specific tone you will like to get. I will have a different one. The sound engineer will have a different one. So know your amp, know where to place the mic and get your tone great out in front. Then a the front of house guy will handle it, but he will be getting your tone, not a generic or a sp any other tone. So knowing your mic, knowing where to put an SM57, knowing where to use a Sennheiser E906 or a E609, they are basically the same mic. With uh, This one has a little more options, but I would recommend you the E609, it's cheaper and great. Or any other mic, like a condenser mic, will change the sound of your amp going up front. So if you're using a 57, there's not probably a reason for you to take your own mic. But if you're using a specific mic that you love, like I do, I use my M160 or the Sontronics Delta. I, and for those mics I really love, I bring them with me for shows. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful to you. I'm thinking about doing an episode on different types of microphones recording amps. Please let me know if that's a thing you would like to hear and to see me doing. Thank you so much for supporting. You know, if you want to become a patron, it's super simple. You just go to the link. You can support the channel via PayPal by contributing to the tip chart. And if you're interested in guitar lessons with me or vocal lessons, just send me an email or a direct message in Instagram or Facebook and we'll deal with it from there. Please visit my reverb.com store where I have some of the gear I review here in the show, but I can't afford to keep. And please give a check on my affiliate links. There's an SM57 there. There's lots of stuff that if you buy from there, Amazon will give me a small commission and it's helping me too. Thank you so much. We'll see each other next week. Bye-bye.